happy that you've chosen the Jacksonville Humane Society for all your pet's medical needs. We understand that going to the vet is not always a pleasant experience for your pet, and this can be a stressful event for you as well. Here are some helpful tips for both dogs and cats to create a better experience when coming to the vet. For dogs, coming to the vet clinic can be a scary experience. When you first adopt a dog, ask the clinic if there are times when you can bring your dog and not have any procedures done. When you come to the clinic, allow the dog to safely investigate the lobby area and reward them with treats while they are in the building. This takes away the stigma that bad things always happen when you go to the clinic. Make sure to always ask before bringing your dog to acclimate to the clinic and always keep your dog on leash and maintain a safe distance from other animals. If you have questions about working with your dogs at the vets, email our behavior department at jacksbehavior at jackshumane.org. Does your dog shy away when he goes to get on the scale? Does she hide behind you when the doctor comes in? Teaching your dog to target can be a great way for him to learn to get up on the scale or meet new people, even the vet. Start by holding out your hand with a treat tucked under your thumb like so. Then when the dog's nose touches your hand, give them the treat. Try that a few times. Now, offer your hand without the treat. As soon as a dog's nose touches your hand, feed them a treat. Once they start to touch their nose to your hand every time, add the word touch or target. Touch. Say the cue first, then offer the hand. Once your dog knows this cue reliably in your home or yard, try it in new places, on a walk or even at the vet's. As your dog approaches the scale, hold out your hand over the scale and ask your dog to touch or target. They should step right up and get a good reward. When the vet comes in to look at your dog, ask them to stand with their hand out and ask the dog to touch or target. Having a new person ask a dog for a trick or cue they already know can be comforting and the dog knows they will get a reward. Ever take the cat carrier out and your cat suddenly disappears? That's because they've learned to associate the carrier with going to the vet. You often crate train dogs but forget that it can be done with cats. Make sure to have your crate out in a place where your cat frequently visits. If your cat is food motivated, you can place a canned food right, either right inside the door or just in front of the carrier. If they like the canned food right in front of the door, open up the door and move the food back to see if you can get them interested in going inside. As your cat gets more comfortable, you can push the food further and further back. Some cats really like toys or catnip, and you can also use those to get cats more comfortable around carriers. Sometimes having the bottom of the carrier act as a bed can allow the cat to get more comfortable with the crate itself. If you have questions about crate training your cat or dog, email behavior at jackshumane.org. Muzzles are a common safety tool used on dogs if they get stressed or nervous at the clinic. Teaching your dog before you come to the vets that the muzzle is a good thing can be helpful to you and your dog and the veterinary staff. I like to use basket or Baskerville muzzle, which is what we'll be using in this video. 
Start by introducing the muzzle to your dog. Anytime they smell it or look at it, give them a reward. Then you can start by putting peanut butter or some yummy food in the back of the muzzle and let your dog lick it out. We don't want to push the, their head into the muzzle. We are training them to put their head in for us. If your dog is uncomfortable with the food in the back of the muzzle, you can move the, the food towards the front of the muzzle. Each dog will be different, so you may need to go slower based on how comfortable your dog is. Once your dog can comfortably put their whole head in the muzzle, you can start pulling the straps behind their ears. Start with just pulling the straps behind their ears, then releasing, slowly working up longer and longer time until you can snap the muzzle shut. For more tips and help with muzzle training, you can visit muzzleupproject.com or email behavior at jackshumane.org. It started in a safe environment like your home and practice in other locations before going to your vet's office. Always reach out to a professional positive reinforcement trainer if you have questions or concerns about behavior. Our behavior team at Jacksonville Humane Society offers free behavior assistance over the phone and via email. You can reach us at the number 904-493-4586 or email us at behavior at jackshumane.org.